Hi, I'm Scott Von Holsten at scottvonholsten.com and the blog at scottvonholsten.org. You know, what you're seeing here is image one of Vivaldi's Allegro. This is canvas is almost 18 feet long. In fact, I didn't really want to do 18 feet of canvas because it's hard to control it, it's hard to organize it, hard to uh, physically work with it because of the size. So uh, what I decided I was going to do is I could break it down into two big chunks and that's what I do right about here. There's a bolts and bag behind that and I can just separate these, these two pieces of canvas and I can work with them uh, that way. What I found out is that I added a couple of easels here and, and actually I could put the whole thing together to work on it as one, which really works out nice. And originally I was thinking that I'd have to just do it in pieces, put this piece up and work at it and then put this piece up and work at it. But I found enough room to get everything to fit on, uh, on, on these can. You know, I found enough uh, easel space actually to make the canvases fit. Uh, this is a lot going on here. We start down, come up, go down, up. This is a good piece of music. I really like it. Uh, and I've learned a lot about uh, listening to the music of all these different, uh, different uh, pieces on these four seasons. And I've got to appreciate more and more of the different, different concertos, actually, and the different movements. And here, the uh, interesting part here, which I mentioned when I talked about the, and, uh, the Dave Brubeck piece, was that, again, I used the, <coughs> the uh, striping here. Because this is a winter uh, scene, and, uh, and, it, and the sonnet that goes with it speaks a lot about ice and that. I, I'm putting a lot of white into this work. So that's where you see the white, and you try to get the cool colors, the cool blues and that. And I put some browns and stuff in here, that you know, because there's a lot of browns, you know, in places where there is. Winter is full of browns and dark colors, some grays. And uh, I think it's going to be interesting. I think it works well. And it has a lot going for it, not just its size. I think we have a, a good breakthrough with the background here, as I mentioned earlier. And one other thing I'd like to mention is that, uh, that the, um, the coloring. Again, I, I said a little bit earlier, but it's important to get to understand that I don't try to... I know this is winter, and I, so I'm going to put some some whites in here and give it more of that winter feel. But I, I'm not restricting myself to just that. I, yeah, I work with that theme a little bit. I work that way to try to represent the music. But you know, on color is just I need to I leave something I can't hold myself back. If I need to put some splashy color in here, I'm certainly gonna do that. So we'll see. This is a pretty advanced image one, but uh, it's a uh, pretty nice one. So um, uh, I'll be uh, getting some more updates in the next couple of weeks, so check back. Thank you again.